What was unthinkable a generation ago is happening. The Holocaust is fading from memory. According to a recent survey, 41% of American adults and 66% of millennials cannot say what Auschwitz was. With over half unaware that Hitler came to power through democratic means, a lesson that Western democracies, perhaps now more than ever, cannot afford to forget. 20 years ago, I was a fervent neo-Nazi and Holocaust denier. So what does all this say about Tony McAleer? How much of a threat is he? I believe there are differences between the races. If that makes me a racist, then I'm a racist. This is McAleer in 1990. It's a life I've long left behind. But I continue to struggle with my role in contributing to such a dark legacy and the shame I still carry. The violence and murder the white supremacist movement fantasized about all those years ago, the violence I once advocated and encouraged, have now become a horrific reality, as acts of racially motivated terrorism have increasingly become the norm. In the Jewish tradition, tshuva means return, and describes the return to God and our fellow human beings that's made possible through repentance for our wrongs. It was in that spirit that I traveled to Auschwitz to bear witness to the unspeakable atrocities committed there as a long overdue act of personal atonement and in hopes of preventing others from following in my path. The inescapable truth is that white supremacist ideology, if left unchecked, always ends in murder. And we ignore the lessons of history at our own peril. Right,